Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about circles and arcs in AutoCAD. So, honestly, circles and arcs are actually pretty easy to do in AutoCAD. They're on the Home tab under the Draw panel. And uh, obviously you can get to them usually by typing in C, Enter. We'll pull up the circle commands in your command line. Or you can A, Enter for your arc commands. But honestly, the easier way to gonna be, go about these is really up in here. So, as you can see here, I just drew a quick five by five square, um, and we're just gonna use that to kind of test these commands out a little bit here. Uh, so first, we're gonna start with circles. So, um, circles are very uh, simple command, right? It creates circles. Um, so, depending on whether you need a center radius or a center diameter is your first major choice when you're using these. Um, so, whether it's a center radius of one, or you're drawing a center diameter from the center of this one here, a diameter of one, whatever it may be. Now, the cool thing is, is when you're in here, if you say, let's say I selected circle radius, and you know, I want that circle to be right here. And it asked me, oh man, I didn't want radius, I want a diameter. Um, if you always pay attention to the command line, there's always usually an option to change it over. Um, so if you look at here, it hits, says hit D for diameter. See how the D is in blue? Yeah, I see it right there. So if I hit D for diameter, then it'll switch me in diameter mode, and then I can do a diameter of two instead of a radius of two, which would basically just be double the size. Um, so it's kind of a quick kind of just quick concept there. So there's those two circle commands, and they're really easy. The hard part usually is trying to find where the so certain center is located on an object. So usually that part is the harder part. Um, but let's look at the other center command. So you have two point and you have three point, meaning if you know three points that are tangent or that the circle intersects, you can pretty much put this in. So um, if I knew it hit the midpoint here, to the midpoint here, to the midpoint here, you'll see the circle goes in, right? Um, also, if I do two point, if I knew the circle was at the midpoint here, and then it stretched out to the midpoint here. Um, or you'll notice there's another two commands at the bottom. Now these are your tangent commands, meaning point of tangency. So the line will only intersect the circle once. So for instance, if you see a line and it's flying through like this even, it looks close, it almost looks tangent, but it is not. See how it intersects twice. If the line is truly tangent to the circle, it will only touch it once. So it's a very precise command. So if you notice here, we have tan tan radius. So that means I know that they're, I know what the two tangents are and I know what the radius is gonna be. So tan tan radius. So I know that's gonna be tangent to this line, it's gonna be tangent to this line, and it's gonna have a radius of one. And you'll see it automatically puts it in. And if I zoom in super close, if you notice it only intersects once, not twice, it does not pass through. That is a truly tangent object. So let's erase this part out here now, and let's go and use the next one. So the other one here is, I don't know why it's my favorite command, but it is um, circle, tan, tan, tan. So again, I know three points of tangency. So almost exactly like the midpoint one was, tangent to here, tangent to here, and it automatically puts the circle in. Now it's obviously different than the midpoint one. Um, in this case, similar, but um, if you know three points of tangency, you can put that in. Now the arc commands work the same way as these following circle commands at the bottom here. Meaning, you have to give it the right command for your situation. To be honest, most things are gonna require a start, an end, and a radius. At least when it comes to my field, that's what I use the most. Meaning, I know where the arc starts, I know where it ends, and I know where it's going to end up. So that, for me, is usually how I figure out my stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also start end radius. So you have start end radius and you have start center end, start so I know a start, I know the center and I know the angle of the arc. Um, all of these commands here play a role. So if I had a three point arc, which means I know three points of the arc. So if I said I want to go to the midpoint here, to the midpoint here, to the midpoint here, again, I knew three points of the arc. Now. Let's say I know the start, end, and the radius, right? So I know the start is the midpoint here, the end is the midpoint here, and it's got a radius of one. Now, you'll notice sometimes 
If you look down here, it'll say invalid, meaning it can't possibly be in radius of one, as it won't work. So you have to watch out. It's got to be sort of a precise deal here. Let's see if I can do it from here. And let's do a radius of one. Again, won't do it. It's too small of a radius. So if I had something like that, and I just kind of wanted to futz with it and put it in myself, I could always go like this here, here, and then kind of move it in myself, however it may be as well. Now, notice, well, Brandon, I want it to go the other way. Why isn't it arcing the other way? So this is the next crux of the issue, is where do you start the arc depends on where the arc will be placed. Notice now that the arc is at the top and not going down. So if you go from counterclockwise, is usually kind of the way I always go, is from here to here, and you'll get the arc on the outside. If you go the opposite, the arc usually concaves, okay? So again, real quick, the easiest way, of course, is just to practice these and put them into your own use. This was Sark Circle and Radius. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be going over object snaps, which actually play a key role in how we kind of position things. As you guys saw, I was using the midpoints and the centers and things like that. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video.